Okay, check one, two, check. Yeah, no side tone. Whatever. <clears throat> I'll have to look into that. But, uh, heading over to Fargo Country Club this morning. Uh, we have a match that we were supposed to play probably about a month ago. <clears throat> And as everyone got busy, we never got it done. So here we sit. It's uh, like July 2nd, I think. Beautiful day. So far. You can probably see in the sun, there's some remnants of a uh, big fire up in Canada. So for about <clears throat> four or five days now, it's been... I mean, this is as clear as it's been in four or five days. It was really bad the last couple days. It just looked like, you know, big overcast scenario. But the sun every day was like bright orange, almost red. Really cool. But uh, Corey St. Germain, my business partner, and myself have a golf match. It's a, a two man best ball match play I think I think it's best ball match play I hope it's best ball match play against a couple of gentlemen this morning finally got it lined up <clears throat> Corey's been out I've been out Corey did some high tech some golf I did uh, I had a 10 day uh, motorcycling trip Sorry, I had a 10 day motorcycling trip with my dad and my brother and uh, my dad came down from South Twin Lakes in Minnesota Thursday night, helped my sister move some stuff and then uh, I was waiting for my Moscow Moto Reckless 80 liter system, uh, soft bag system. And uh, I actually had to go out to UPS that morning and pick it up. I mean, that's how close the timing was. But went out to UPS, picked it up about, I don't know, 9.30 or so. No, I bet you it was closer to 10 o'clock. Ran home, had to totally reconfigure my bike then. It, it had to go on the pillion seat. I mean, that's where it worked the best. So I had to change stuff around and take the rack off, take the uh, rear passenger grab rails off, try figure out a way to put the tail rack back on, and so, <clears throat> anyhow, I got it to, uh, got it to work and sat on there really nice, it still gave me uh, the original space I had on the factory tail rack, I guess you'd call it, so I was able to put stuff on there like <clears throat> those Kelty poles and uh, oh I had my fishing backpack on there that uh, that thing's huge but whatever I had room for it it was an issue <clears throat> so then in the meantime I had ordered this Senna 10 Charlie uh, let's see we left on our trip on June 20th I think uh, I ordered the 10 Charlie, it must have been right around the 1st of June. You could pre-order it on Zilla. And uh, my brother and I were talking about it. He's got the Senna Prism with the Senna 20S communicator. So he's got one on each side of the helmet. We saw this thing come out and we're like, well, yeah, I mean, that's almost perfect. It basically has everything you're going to want on it. And uh, so I pre-ordered one. I pre-ordered one in the uh, first part of June there. Well, lo and behold, as we get ready to go on our trip, I get notification from uh, RevZilla that my product is shipping, or actually from UPS. So I checked up on RevZilla. Yep, sure enough, they shipped it. Like on the 18th or something. 17th maybe. But uh, anyhow, so... 
<clears throat> it was coming to Fargo. It wasn't going to be here until that Monday. We were leaving the previous Friday. <clears throat> so I figured, why well, I might as well just reroute it to my cousin's house, cousin Logan Hannison, out in Larkspur, Colorado. And I rerouted it. How did this work? Yeah, I rerouted it. It cost me like five bucks or something to do the reroute. And when I first did the reroute, it upped the uh, the delivery date from Monday to the previous Friday. I'm like, well, that's perfect because we we're going to be at his house <clears throat> Sunday night, <clears throat> Sunday night, Monday morning. That'll be great. I'll get it when I'm there Friday. Get to charge it, monkey around with it, mount it, and have it for the week. Well, uh, as it was, I was an optimistic delivery schedule, and. Uh, it didn't end up showing up until Monday. No, it did deliver like Monday at before noon, I think, which is surprising. Out in a residential area, kind of rural residential area. But we were already gone. So then I was going to have Logan bring it out when he met us on Friday of that week, but the schedule's changed. He never made it. So then I had Sharla put it in priority mail I keep forgetting to use priority mail but uh, she went to UPS first the UPS store or something not even a store but whatever they didn't have a box so she went over to the post office and it was like less than 15 bucks she boxed it up shipped it out on a two day Tuesday she shipped it out under a two-day uh, delivery scenario, and uh, it showed up overnight. It showed up Wednesday from Larkspur to Fargo. There's Corey's truck there. So, yeah, I got it uh, yesterday. I didn't realize that. Probably midday. And then... Uh, <clears throat> I grabbed that, charged it up last night, mounted it up. I th I'm using the adjustable mount, which sticks out farther. If that bothers me, and once I get more familiar with the angles of the device, I might use that uh, pla or the uh, stick-on mount. It's much tighter to the helmet, but we'll try it this way. See if it bothers. All right, that's that. We have our match at 7.45, so I will uh, see you after that.